My name is Alonio Vinikede. By day, I work as a uh, garbage collector, just your average blue collar, high vis wearing worker. But by night, fortunately enough, I get to rub shoulders with some of the, the biggest names in the sporting world. Welcome to my world. I was born in Paddington, just around the corner down the road from where we are here in Kensington. Um, a lot of people think I was born in Fiji, but no, I was born and raised in Sydney. Typical Islander, I guess, one of uh, one of seven from my father. I'm the eldest of three with my my mum and my dad. So there's a, a, a big span of about 30 years where my dad was uh, highly active in fertility. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Football was something that I excelled in. Athletically, I was a bit more developed compared to, to a lot of the other, I guess, Aussie kids that I was hanging around with. So I could sort of assert my uh, my size and athletic attributes. Took it out of the uh, Halangis a bit. <laughs> and I don't think they liked it too much because I was a, always a bony, hard kid. But I spent six years in reserve grade. I think I earned a total of about $22,000 for, for six years of work, which doesn't even pay for your fuel to drive from work to training. But that didn't deter me. I, it, wasn't, it wasn't ever about money. Money was always just a bonus to me. Opportunity-wise, I didn't know what was coming, so I took on a job as a waste service collection is the formal title, but Garbo is uh, known over here in Australia. Within a month of getting that, that job, I got given the opportunity to train part-time with the Roosters. So Thursday came around my training day. I asked Robbo if I could come in and uh, do more than the than I was currently allocated. Yeah, from, from that day forward, I started training full-time with the Roosters and juggled the two. He's real hard working, you know, he's real passionate about the sport. Um, after a massive training session, he always chuck on, he always chuck on his high vest and be like, Tolly, where are you going? He's like, oh, I got work now. It's good to learn off him and I always ask him about diet because he's got the 17 pack, I only got the one pack, so hopefully he'll come soon. <laughs> Image-wise, I always looked up to big, strong, masculine guys as, as heroes. My first ever, I guess, real test match for, for Fiji was when I was 26 and, yeah, got to run out alongside Petra and Simi Randrandra and just guns of our, our modern sort of NRL Fijian era. Try for Eloni Vunakese. That's how you execute. Oh, I think everyone enjoys having Fijians around, so uh, I guess we contribute in, in that sense. We're, we're pretty sort of happy-go-lucky kind of people. You don't want to get on our, I guess, on our wrong side because we can hurt you. So the hair in school, the boys said to me, they, they knew that I hadn't shaved my head for a while. The boys would see my hair starting to curl and jam pencils in there and stuff. And they said to me one day, Lonnie, why don't you grow your hair? And I said, yep, I'm going to do it. I reckon Lonnie tried to copy Willie Mason. Or even Crit. You know Crit? Y'all guys know Crit? Yeah, I reckon he tried to copy Crit. But yeah, it looks like, like, like a big ball of tumbleweed. It's been rolling through the desert and then just sat up on his head. And then like a bird's nest. The colour comes from the sun. Uh, People think I dye it, but I don't. I often get asked, is it a wig? No, I don't wear a wig out, I just, it's just my hair. Feet, you've got to remind yourself how young he is. Vuna Kepi! Vuna Kepi crashes over! There's so many, I guess, opportunities for, for us to be leaders in our, in our community. I mean, without really even knowing it, we can sort of be an inspiration and inspire change and inspire someone to be something bigger than what they think they are. A lot of the things that I do is all, is all for, for the family. And yeah, it's just providing for, for my kids. Every cent that I make now is solely for my kids. It's just to, to provide for them, for, for their lives and try to make their lives as, as good as possibly can be.